What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, well, this might be exactly what you guys have been waiting for, we're going to jump into the new Fantasy Playground and see what it is all about, especially since we have like the translations. Granted, they're usually like Google Translate on here, but Fortress Defense, it literally looks like there could be other games in the future that are put onto this list, which is cool. Uh, let's just take a look around. We have the Entertainment Star. Accumulate a specific number of game stars to get rewards from the vending machine, which looks like this. So you can unlock that. Ooh, you can unlock different things. Cumulatively attain 10 stars, uh, 20 stars. Ooh. Ooh, so there's a vending machine where you can get gems and others. Ooh, Cores of Transcendence. More gems, skin chest, glorious relics, glorious flag chest. Or, I mean, I wonder what the... Are they just hidden? Are they random rewards? We got even a paid one artifact that includes the Gilded Purple Fan. Um, Interesting. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. So there's already people going for stars. Um, endless version, regular version. Okay, so that's the leaderboard. In the Fantasy Playground, you can get play a variety of ways to play and experience a variety of challenges. Makes me sound like more games are to come. You can play or you can get play stars during the game. When you get a specific number of play stars, you can unlock rich rewards in the vending machine that we just saw. The accumulative play stars for or good results obtained uh, record, record on the leaderboard. Play any game in Fantasy Hall. Yeah. This is, so there's going to be more games to be had. We're going to start with this one, the Fortress Defense. Gather your heroes to fight against the Tide of Monsters. I'm excited to do this. Um, so you can see a map preview it looks like here. Okay, so it's very much like the uh, Void um, Realms Gate with like the tile set and everything. Uh, and you get some technology points and some gems. Heck, I mean, free gems is kind of cool. Uh, and it looks like we have one of these as well. Is there anything different on these menus? Yes. In the Fortress Defense Battle, players need to responsibly dispatch heroes to resist the invasion of monsters. And players can get joy stars by completing star goals. The star rating of the special hero unit that can be recruited in the game is affected by the development degree of the corresponding hero in that player's backpack. The higher the star rating, the stronger the hero's abilities. The unlocking conditions for each star are... One star, just acquire the hero. Two, get them to 10 stars. Three, um, awaken empowerment. Five, four is the designated hero meets the first three conditions and completes the fourth stage of the void imprinting skill enhancement. Wait, what? So is this actually using your heroes? So this is like 10 star E5, full void imprint. How does this work? I'm intrigued now. Okay, so battle begins. Something is wrong. The attack of the phantom army is coming. Please be sure to defend your fortress. But don't worry, recruiting brave soldiers can help you fend off attacks. Wait a minute, should I actually put audio on? Maybe in the future. Um, to recruit, click a unit. And that just simply puts them out in here. Okay, you can see level one, we have experience tokens that we can level that up. The tower itself up as well. Am I supposed to keep doing things oh i see so you can get your actual heroes too um am i supposed to like recruit all these guys something like this i just recruit my whole team and then they go to town as honestly i kind of like this i'll be honest okay you see like a progression bar moving down the bottom as well um i kind of like this oh so you can only have a certain number of heroes which is what one two three four five it looks like yeah you can't do more than five heroes at least now you can see how long the wave is going to last looks like they make the first stage just very easy so the archer looks like she has like a aoe attack the mages have like an aoe explosion and then the warriors just kind of tank the front line for you which is pretty cool so and then they come back and they reset on their spots um so i guess that's good am i supposed to do like <laughs> it's interesting it's gonna be a lot to learn what happens here um i guess we'll just wait for the wave to end right okay wave two. Ooh, they get upgraded version ones here so can we make more no we can't let's see if we do this what does that give us does it tell us what happens here not really Oh, wait, we're not quite there. This gives a thousand EXP. Okay, okay. 
Okay, so the fort has been successfully upgraded. After upgrading, you can choose one of three random battle tokens. Please use the strengthening effect of the token flexibility. Um, don't really need that. I think getting more gold coins is honestly the play here. Uh, after the fort is upgraded, you can get reinforcement points to strengthen the hero profession. Please click on profession enhancement, which is over here. So strengthening a class can make the hero units recruited by a class more powerful. Um, and upgrading to the specific level can unlock it. Interesting. So it doesn't actually let you know. So we're going to have to figure this out. For some reason, I feel like we want like our damage dealers to be the best if I mean, but warriors are so good in this game. I feel like we're going to try maybe doing like. Oh, so you do three upgrades and then you can break them through, but we're going to have to wait to do that. However. Um, so if you buy experience, you're only getting a thousand, it looks like, and then these are the tokens we get. OK, so as our heroes die, we might have to actually summon more. Oh, we could actually summon an additional hero because we did that upgrade to our fortress as well. That's pretty cool. That's actually pretty useful. Um, so yeah, I wonder if you can get like mate, like priest or anything like that. Probably no healing units. I don't know. Our AOE is doing pretty good. And I do think mages are probably the one we need to prioritize. Like probably don't even use any archers. Just go for like the mages and like try to buff them up as much as possible. And then if a hero dies, then we can think about that afterwards. Everybody comes back and resets. That's good. Um, okay, so this bar down the bottom here is actually the experience bar that we have over here. Interesting. Okay, so let's see what happens at the end of this wave. If we get anything else here, you can always pause, it looks like, at any moment. Um, continue. <laughs> Make sure we don't undo it. That would be kind of annoying. Uh-oh, dangerous enemy strikes. Oh, we got big skeleton guys coming in now. Um, I think I'm going to save our gold because I feel like we might need to resummon some units. We have a lot of warriors, probably more than we need. Maybe. Oh, we're about to lose one, so let's summon a mage out. Get some more damage going in here. We need to get as much AoE damage as possible. Maybe just one or two warriors at the front line that we can resummon. And then in the meantime, we're going to just keep summoning more damage dealers to the front. I think when we lose the next warrior, we're going to have to summon another one to jump to that front line there. And when he goes down, again, keep summoning out the warriors to make sure our mages can get as much damage out as possible without being affected. And we just hit level three on our fortress as well. There could definitely be some strategy to this game, which is really cool, especially since this is just the first stage. And man, we could probably play this for hours, like literally hours. So let's see what happens here. We can now come over here, break you through. Honestly, I think I'm just going straight up with our mages and getting them as strong as possible. I wish I could get rid of that one archer now because the archer feels useless compared to all the mages. Granted, the archer's ability is pretty cool too. It's like more of a piercing attack, whereas the mages is more of an explosion attack. And I do think two warriors on the front line is working pretty solid for us so far. Man, I could play this for hours, I swear. I, I might actually do that today. Man, they're just deleting all of them. Just absolutely deleting the enemies. Oh, we can summon more now because again, we upgrade. So it looks like maybe in total, like by the end of it, you can get 12 units, which is kind of interesting. Um, So we'll get three warriors out and then I think we'll start continuing to get, oh wait, those are priests. Wait, what? Oh wait, priests are now in the mix. So we can't get any more mages. Is that what it is? Wait, were they always priests? And I didn't realize that those priests do. So no, it's definitely a mage. Why does that have a priest icon? Unless that just recently changed. I'm confused. All right. So give us uh, some more rewards here. Enemy strikes again. Uh, ooh, there's a big guy. And there's a timer on that one as well. 200 upgraded. I don't know if that's really worthwhile. Maybe it is. We can force it and we can get additional stuff. We can kind of get like a refund of some coins here, but that also allows us probably to summon more heroes out. And we have this so we can break them through again and just continue upgrading our mages to be like as powerful as possible. Maybe pumping most of our gold into here if our heroes are surviving is a good strategy. And there's going to be legit strategies that come form from this. All right, all damage on the boss. Go, go, go. 
<laughs> get him, get him, get him. Um, yeah, I'm going to summon another mage out. Oh, two more mages out. Let's get the damage going. Come on, we can do this. More DPS on that boss. We have two warriors still up. My goodness, it's just a flashing show. <laughs> Wait, where are you guys going? There's still an enemy. <laughs> Wait, guys, help out the warriors. Okay, so victory. Star rating, we got three stars. Clear the level when the clearing the cu the customs, the durability of the fortress does not get lower than 100. And the time taken to kill the boss doesn't exceed 600. So we're getting a million gold and 200 gems. You know what? I will take that. So we cleared out the first stage. And then you get more stuff as you move forward as well. This is pretty cool. Oh, there's stellar shards up for grabs. Well. I am intrigued, and this looks like a lot of fun. So there's your little preview. Um, we already have some stars, too, so we have, like, stuff from the vending machine and stuff, but we have to wait till we get to 10 to start pulling them. And this looks like it could be a whole lot of fun. So hopefully you guys enjoy this, and we'll have more highlighted on this in the future. And I'll see you guys next time.